All right, welcome back to the channel. Today it is January 22nd, 2022. It's 1.37 in the afternoon Eastern Time. So today let's go over the Crypto Greed and Fear Index for today. As you can see right now, on Coin360.com we have Bitcoin currently trading 34,375, Ethereum following behind at 2,334, everything else is a sea of red, fear, 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 baby. Yeah, now the philosophy here is what do you do? What's the strategy for mining and investing? For me, again, not financial advice, I always tell people, never listen to any idiot on YouTube about finances for anything. Do your own research, guys. This is just entertainment. I don't know what it's going to do. No one knows. And that's when I, I get a little irked at some guys saying it's going to go to 100K. Uh, you just can't do that, guys. It's let people do their own research and uh, make their own decisions. Become empowered with knowledge. Do not trust even financial advisors or anyone on the Internet. Uh, people just want to take your money and all that crap. you got to protect yourself. Become knowledgeable and do your own investment. Do your own research. All right, enough of that. Enough of that. You all should know that. All right, we're a sea of red, so let's get into maybe a philosophy. So GPUs for mining should start coming down because people are selling their rigs. People are saying, "Oh, it's good. you know they're they're uh, fair weather miners. They're gonna you're, you're gonna see rigs online for sale for way too much, and uh, just be careful of the price. I would if you if you want to buy a rig, contact the person, say, "Listen, the equipment's used, crypto is falling." It's going to be harder to mine, blah, blah, blah. you got to lower your price. And maybe you do, I don't know, what is it, $100 per 100 mega hash, maybe? Does that sound about right? Maybe. I don't know. There's a, there's a little equation you can do to be fair. But um, people are going to start selling their rigs. GPU prices should go back down to MSRP and become more in stock. There is a huge demand right now for some reason for 3070 Ti LHR cards. I have no idea what's up with that. So we could probably go to what to mine, plug that in and see what is going on. Maybe there's a coin that uh, loves the 3070 Ti. Yeah, huge demand for 3070 Ti's right now. Very interesting. So uh, the other philosophy now is in investing. Oh, let's go back to mining. For mining, lots of rigs will be for sale, GPUs will be for sale. You can actually accumulate, just keep mining, accumulate, just keep stacking coins. That's my philosophy. Keep mining, keep stacking, keep stacking, keep stacking. Because if you believe in this stuff, then just keep working at it. Keep doing the work. It can't always be un unicorns and rainbows in the investing world. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to keep mining. All right. So what else can we do? You can also, for investing... One of my philosophy is your dollar cost average in, which I did today, small chunks. On the way down, you just keep buying Bitcoin, Bitcoin, on the way down. And just I just do dollar cost averaging for all my investments. I reinvest dividends and or interest on, on equities and crypto. And I just have a compound. I don't need the money right now. This is my investment money. So you can always lose. I lose. I bought NVIDIA. A couple weeks ago, I thought it was at the lowest. It's going to go and bounce back up. Nope, I'm down 30%. <laughs> it's it's just the nature of the beast, but I'm not going to sell it. You only lose money if you sell it. Unless it's a complete loss and the thing's not coming back, then you might just take your loss and write it off on your taxes as a, as a stock loss. But again, not financial advice, just what I'm thinking. So the fear and greed index. Let's get to it. Enough babbling. Oh, what do we got here? Fear and Greed Index. Let's click on this one. We don't want that one. We don't want that one. We want this one. This is the Bitcoin Fear and Greed Index right now, January 22nd, 2022. We are at 13, baby, extreme fear. It's got to go higher. So last month was fear. Last week was extreme fear. Yesterday was extreme fear. Now is extreme fear. I think they need a super extreme fear. I think they need a debilitating extreme fear. I think they need something more because it can't... I don't know. What's more than extreme? <laughs> it's funny. All right. 13, baby. We're at 13 on the old 
Bitcoin Greed and Fear Index, day to 22nd. The next update will happen at 5 hours, 17 minutes, and 16 seconds. Maybe I'll live stream this and just leave this on. What do you think? All right, let's go over to the Ethereum. Ethereum Fear and Greed Index. This one is a different site. It comes off a Twitter thing. And it is January 22nd, 2022. We are at Extreme Fear, 17. So it is, uh, what, are we lower? Bitcoin is 13. Ethereum is currently at 17. Um, in history, I mean, just the watching this crypto, Bitcoin is the king. Bitcoin is the store value. Bitcoin is digital gold. All other cryptos follow the leader. Bitcoin is king. Uh, Bitcoin's going down. Ethereum's going down. Altcoins are going down. Some altcoins may go away, and I've had that happen. I've had a couple altcoins, and they just cease to exist. So don't get all spun up on these altcoins when you see all these other channels talking altcoins. You might find the next winner. I don't know, guys. I just, I get, you know, meme coins, stuff like that. Just caution to the wind on that one. You may be just flushing your money down. Yeah, I don't know. I always stay with the big boys, right? Stay with the top 10. You should be good, but that's not, again, financial advice. You could lose to lose at all. So there we go today. What are we in? Six minutes in. That's enough. Fear and greed index as of January 22nd, 17. It's a lot worse on Ethereum. I don't know why they're showing 17 and they say it's 25. Oh, well, they're not They're not consistent. But if you go to over to these sites here, Etherscan, they're showing 29. This has not been updated, I guess. This one looks old. So, yeah, some of these sites don't look that open sea. So scratch that one. Let's go to Etherscan. This one's showing 29. Yeah. I don't know what that is. This one's not even accurate, too. So don't even look at that. Scratch those two links on the site and just go to the current. Always look at the date at the bottom, January 22nd. That way you know your current. So we're at 17 on Ethereum. And that's an old one. See, that's January 20th. Ignore that one. It's scratch that one. And let's go back to Bitcoin. Bitcoin at 13. And what else do we got in here? Wow, look at that. Crypto Fear and Greed Index over time. I clicked on it. I don't think this thing works. Okay, seven days, three months. There we go. Dropping, dropping, dropping like a brick, baby. Why measure fear and greed? Extreme fear can be a sign that investors are too worried. That could be a buying opportunity. When investors are getting too greedy, that means the market is due for a correction. So here we are at the fear one. Here's where they show they get their data from. And that's it, guys. What's this one down here? That's the current one again. And you can, oh, I can embed it. Interesting. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, there you go. Today's January 22nd, 2022. Crypto's Greed and Fear Index. Use it in your tool chest for knowledge, whether to sell, buy, invest, keep mining, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Do your own research. I'm out, guys. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye. Bam.